quick little message that I think is worth noting and worth recording, especially if you are ballsy about getting with God and getting with what is truthful here in this universe. I was just at a restaurant, had a margarita, like margaritas. I was the only customer in there until two white people walked in, a man and a woman, and the man was just not confident at all. But the thing about white people is God privileges white people, favors them. So, so even he, in his, he, he's not very like confident. He's kind of lame. Like the girl still is going to like him, you know? So, but I was at a Mexican restaurant. All the Mexican, these Mexican guys worked there. They all look great. They all look, the restaurant was great. Drinks were good, whatever. They were dressed nice. They had nice hair. I mean, that's how this place is classy. And so, but it's funny because they sit down and then they weren't busy. So they had like three waiters go up to them, ask them for like what they wanted for their first drink and appetizer, whatever. And I could tell intuitively that this girl, even though she was with that white guy, she knew in her head, either consciously or unconsciously, that this was really hot, all these men around her. And back in the day, days of perhaps of the Bible, what would have happened there? I'll leave that up to you to know and find out. What would have happened there with all these men around this woman? And the thing is, no, the woman was attracted to all these men. You could just tell she was, took her breath away, sort of. No wonder why we have that saying, you take my breath away. I mean, there's songs that have that in there and everything. She was overwhelmed. Now in society now, we've gotten so far away from God. Understandable, we've been far away for a long time where you're committed to one person and you develop a belief system around that so you're committed to that one person, right? But if you're really gonna go with God in that restaurant, what would have happened right there? Those men probably would have just done their thing with that toy and she would have submitted. God is all about submission. If you're feeling some sort of like feeling, submit. Like I know for a fact, God likes beer. God likes alcohol to get to a certain level with him. You can either use, you can either use uh, alcohol to be with the devil and, or you can use alcohol to be with God. If you're, if you're already with God sober, when you drink alcohol, you're going to be with God with alcohol. So whatever, like it's a free world out here. We've constricted ourselves though. We've made it less free because I think over time we've just realized God is just so passionate and so crazy and so hard. What does that mean? Hard. It's hard to be with God 100%, but it's, it's so how do you get, how do you be able to beat how hard, difficult it is? You get hard about it. Imagine I was sitting at the bar drinking my margarita and all these, these men with that woman, they start getting down. Woo. That would be so with God. And, the, and when, not to mention, but when the, that couple arrived and that woman instinctually looked right at me as well. Like it's instinctual. We're human beings and human beings forget that they're animals. What do dogs want? Dogs and cats are toys. Humans think they want to cuddle. I asked a woman the other day, what do you think that dog wants to do first and foremost? She said, cuddle. No, that dog wants food. <laughs> and I think we'll leave it at that. Like I could keep talking about all this stuff, but I'm just kind of fed up with the bullshit. Why do I make these videos? Because God tells me to, one. I think it's my purpose to do this. I'm ballsy enough to do this. I've always been like this, sort of like, I've always been like this. If you know me from years past, even when I wasn't 100% with God, I've just been that guy who will just do that shit and other people won't. Now that I'm really with God, now I do that shit and I'm with God. So it comes off a little more intelligent, comes off a little more like, okay, he knows exactly what he's talking about, no denying this. Whereas in the past, you could be like, nah, like, masks up the heezy, I had masks on. And it's fine, because it was all part of the plan. Even God makes the masks for you and then takes them off. God does everything here, it's a huge simulation. And all my observations that I see that are not with God, God would like me to express on this YouTube channel and on Instagram. and. Instagram's not as much of this intense stuff, but but like whoever sees this is seeing it. And whoever sees this has the opportunity to also wake up the world if you choose to do so. My twin flame, not a joke either. The twin flame journey, not a joke. And the soul connections that you have with people that are 
very pure, not a joke. And if you have two pure people that think like this and then they procreate, it's gonna create some beautiful godly children. You know what I'm saying? But most people don't create, um, this guy's trying to talk to me, so I'm in the middle of making a video. See, most people procreate with the same person and they get committed with this belief system they make up that says you need to commit. No, that's not the way this shit works over here. You might, if you're committed to a completely pure person and you're pure and you know that it's with God, you know that God provided that person for you perfectly and perfect. But no, and then you see divorces and stuff. Divorces aren't really that bad. They cost a shitload of money, but no, you get divorced for a reason because you know that it's time to move on to something bigger and better, maybe more aligned with you vibrationally, whatever. No, and there's something to be said also about the simulation here and about how God sets up men and women to realize each other and then to enjoy themselves out here. And yesterday I went up to a woman, this is the last thing I'll say, and we'll, we'll cut it, but I went up to a girl who stuck out her ass at me, she's fucking Germany or something like that. She was sticking out her ass like right in front of me, she was hot, whatever, it doesn't matter. But I said, God said go up to her and tell, tell her what you know. And I, said, I went up to her, I said, do you know you're unconsciously, you're actually made for me right now in this moment? And I'm made for you, do you know that? If we, I said, like, you stuck your ass out and that's part of the simulation and I automatically looked right there, like it was weird. And then we walked to a donut shop or something like that and I left her, it was energy depriving, the whole stupid, she wanted to talk a lot, all this stuff, dumb shit. Humans like to talk, they like to make shit up and it's fine, but it's not fine, right? God will always forgive, but there's a lot of sinning going on in here. There's not a lot of naturally occurring things. You don't have to pay for that. I haven't paid for one parking thing. You can decide to pay, go ahead, pay and be, but the thing is that's a toy and law enforcement, their toys also, you won't be ticketed, guaranteed. Just keep your mind clear. Sorry, what, what do you mean? Like if you keep your mind clear, like don't, like you didn't pay for that. Don't, if you, like say you went on with the rest of your day, right? Yeah. And you were to think, like, oh, I didn't pay for that. I'm gonna get a ticket. I'm gonna, then most likely you'll get a ticket. But like, yeah, really? not kidding. Like your mind creates everything out here. I haven't gotten one ticket yet with these things. I park wherever I want and it's fine. Cause I don't care. I think of these as like toys that we play with out here. <laughs> I like that. See what I mean? Yeah. So whatever, something to think about. Pay for it, don't pay for it. But I don't take anything like this seriously. Like this is, we should be making money in pure ways, not in weird ways like this. No, you could park, it's a free world out here. You know what I'm saying? That's how I think of it, like, whatever. Yes, see you, bro. So yeah, it's parking things, dumb. Doesn't matter. I might edit this part out, maybe I won't. All right, see you guys.